Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and we're going to have something interesting happen in today's video. We're going to have an entire series of newly released cars that I was able to film at a local auto show here in Utah. Uh, this is going to be the pretty much the first, it might be the second video, but it's pretty much going to be the first video in this series. It's going to be on the new Tundra TRD Pro and then also on the new Tundra uh, Capstone package as well. And so uh, this video is going to be posted on the main channel, but a majority of the videos are actually going to be posted on the second channel, the Ben Hardy show. So if you're not subscribed to that channel already, I'd recommend going and subscribing so you guys can see all these videos I'm about to post with all these newly released cars. Uh, some of them include the new Lexus NX, for example, the Lexus LX 600 on, you know, some other manufacturer side of things, the Ford F-150 Lightning, uh, the new Ford Expedition, the Ram 1500 Laramie GT, uh, just so many vehicles. Uh, the Nissan Aria, for example, they're just a ton of different vehicles at this show. Uh, so yeah, go subscribe to that channel. That's where I'm going to be posting a majority of these videos. With that being said, let's pop right into the uh, quick walk around on the Tundra TRD Pro and then also the Capstone uh, Edition. Really excited to, or I was, it was really exciting to see both these. That was horrible, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. Let's get into it. So let's start things off with the TRD Pro. And I decided to combine this video because they're both Tundras and well, they're the you know highest end packages you can get in the Tundra. So first off, notice the TRD Pro badge there on the side with the uh, venting, fake venting, whatever, still looks really cool. And then you guys can see here with the headlights, you've got the LED accent light, and then you've got uh, the headlights themselves. And then you can see the accenting down below, similar to what you have on the uh, Forerunner actually. Giant Toyota logo there, it's got the old school look. And then you've got the marker lights here on the Tundra TRD Pro. Notice they say TRD in the center of them. I think that's cool attention to detail and then the light bar down below and then also the camera as well. And something to mention about the marker lights. I was looking at them and I was like, okay, you know what? Is this really wide enough that it needs marker lights? Because, you know, it's got them in the front grill and then also on the side with the uh, fender flares. And I don't think it is because the capstone that you guys will see in today's video as well is the same exact width as the TRD Pro, and it doesn't have marker lights. I think they just did it for show, to be honest. But you guys can see here with the wheel, really cool off-roader type look, and then look at the front suspension with the TRD Pro. It is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, I just... I love the coloration, obviously, uh, on the suspension and the shocks and all that. Uh, but obviously, the suspension shocks you get with the TRD Pros are great. Uh, they're not quite as good as what you get with like Fox with their active systems or, you know, Bill Stein now with their active system on the TRX, but it's it's right up there, right? Notice we got the skid plates down below as well. And uh, again, you guys can see here at the fender flare, look at the uh, texturing on it. It's kind of that military theme that Toyota's kind of been going for. And again, another marker light. Uh, like I said, I think honestly, it's just for show because it's it's not any wider you got the uh, splash guard notice the mirrors are blacked out as well as the pillars it gives it a cool like floating design with the roof uh, door handles are also blacked out uh, this is funny it's it's like a super similar theme as to what i did on the t-rex because i did orange with the wrap and then you know blacked out accents so it's uh <laughs> Pretty similar to what they have here on the TRD Pro. So yeah, definitely a big fan. And then popping here to the rear, again, you guys can see all-terrain tire. Um, the one thing that a lot of people mentioned here at the show and they came up and talked to me is that they wish the Tundra had bigger tires, uh, you know, like maybe 35s or something like that. Again, look at the shocks in the rear though. So cool, really advanced system. Uh, and you guys can see again with the kind of army print there on the fender flare and then the marker light in the back uh, in Ford Raptor style. And then you got another uh, splash guard right there. And then you can see here with the rear of the TRD Pro, you got giant TRD Bro badge there. Um, and then obviously, you know, a bunch of people <laughs> walking around. I did the best I could manage, okay, guys? You've got the uh, lights here in the rear with the blacked out accenting. Again, like I said, TRD Pro stamped into the tailgate. And then again, look at the uh, print. I think that's really cool, the print that they've done here. And then notice it's kind of down below there on the bumper as well. Looks really cool again, because uh, it just looks dark from a distance. But when you go up close, you can see the design detail. And then you guys can see the composite bed. Definitely a huge plus, right? So you don't have to worry about scraping paint or anything uh, like that. And you don't know, expect to, to get that kind of equipment with something like a TRD Pro. Um, but overall, I think it's a really good looking truck from the exterior. Uh, I tried to show you guys the interior here, but 
it's kind of got reflection, but at least we could kind of see it from the front. The car was locked because it's a prototype, and I guess they didn't want a bunch of people to touch it. But the interior looks really nice with uh, the design details and the seats and everything. Uh, it looks super similar to like the limited interior, but just with like TRD Pro stuff added to it, uh, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, <laughs> it's a cool looking truck. It was great to see it in person. Definitely looks better in person than in pictures. I will say that it has a lot more presence. But again, I think it. I agree with everyone. It needs bigger tires. You know. 35s would be great on that truck. And here's the capstone. This is crazy. Toyota just announced this package, and then I got to go see it in person. I thought this was awesome. It's got the uh, iForce Max. So that's uh, Toyota's hybrid system. You guys will actually see Toyota's chassis with the hybrid system later in today's video as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but notice the attention detail on the paint. And then uh, the headlights are the same as what you have over there on that uh, Tier D Pro we saw earlier. Parking sensors here in the front with the Tundra logo stamped there. Notice we got blue on the Toyota logo because it's a hybrid which I think is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a good-looking truck. Um, I guess the one thing that I would say about the uh, capstone package is it does look different than a Limited because I've seen a Limited in person as well, but it's uh, to like a, your regular average buyer, it doesn't look different enough. Uh, the wheels do look good, uh, but I definitely would say that, and this is my personal opinion, I do prefer like the styling on some of Ram's wheels, but I think that Toyota did a good job. And then again, look at the front suspension there. And then like I said, if you look at the fender flare and the fender and everything, it's the exact same width as the Tier D Pro, but no marker lights. Got your capstone uh, badge right there. And then also the chrome mirrors. Uh, so you can see a lot of chrome on this truck because, again, it's, it's a luxury truck. Got the chrome door handles and all that. Um, but again, very similar to the Limited in terms of the just styling and design that they've done here on the capstone package. But I will say the finish on the chrome and stuff does look uh, more upscale. So it definitely has that uh, going for it. And then you can see, again, the tire and wheel set in the back. Uh, if you're going in, capstone comes standard with 22s. And then, obviously, five-link coil that is in all of the new uh, Tundras. And the thing about the capstone package is it's not going to have the crazy off-road shocks of the TRD Pro, so it's going to ride different. Um, it's going to have more of like a smooth luxury ride, whereas the TRD Pro is going to be better at soaking stuff up uh, bump-wise and all that. You can see more chrome on the bumpers. And then uh, you can see here at the top, and again, composite uh, bed, which is definitely a nice feature to have. And then notice you've got the cargo tie downs um, as part of the bed as well. And then you guys can see again, I, I, I think it's a, you know, it's it's hit and miss for me because again a lot of parts of it look super similar to the limited uh power side steps is another part of the capstone package and then again that trim on the side looks great it seems like they copied a lot of stuff with the rams uh, limited i will say that the interior did look very nice i will say that um i, I kind of peered through the window after filming uh this to kind of i, I try to show you guys as much as possible but the material use looked very nice. The seats looked really nice as well. Uh, just just design-wise, material-wise, I think that it's actually really nice. I, I was a little bit worried uh, because Toyota isn't necessarily known for their luxury interiors. They're known for durable interiors. Uh, but this definitely does look, in person, it looked like a very nice upscale luxury interior. Um, something that was you know pretty much on par with Ford and Ram. So I was, I was pretty impressed with that. Now, here is the chassis uh, for the Tundra. So you guys can see uh, what it looks like underneath. I thought this was so cool that they had this. They're the only manufacturer that brought something like this. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this is a hybrid, by the way. Uh, you guys will be able to see more of that later on. But look how the exhaust like loops through. <laughs> I thought that was pretty interesting. And then also you can see the stuff with the suspension here in the back. Uh, it, just a really cool uh, setup. And then here's where we get into some of the hybrid components. Uh, you guys can see. And just look how like rigid everything is uh, and they had to make it that way right because you know hybrids are heavy and then you guys can see everything else it almost looks like a spaceship like this whole part with you know the the hybrid components and everything put together it looks like a spaceship almost or like a pod cruiser from star wars um but yeah this is this is the underpinnings of the hybrid powertrain 437 horsepower and then like almost 600 pound feet of torque i might be off by a little bit and then it was cool to see the suspension here in the front as well um but yeah that is again the trd pro the capstone and then the chassis that underlines uh them with the hybrid pretty cool to see that